All right, I wanted to make a video real quick. So I got my chair taken apart. And what I'm doing today is just wanted to show y'all what's going on. How do you, on your recline, on your chairs, what happens is you turn the handle and there is a little knuckle down there. And what that knuckle does is it pushes a rod down through here and it pushes onto this piece right there. And what that does is that takes the tension off of this brake, allowing this rod to slide back and forth. And this right here is attached to the front of the chair where the footrest is, allowing it to swing up. Well, I lost a recline. For some reason, my chair was not reclining. And um, I noticed that the handle was rocking back and forth whenever I would put tension on it. So, I took the whole chair off, which is a pain in the ass, especially with uh, these older presidential style Kokens. I mean, they are just like, they weigh a ton. And I, let's switch hands here real quick. <clears throat> this sleeve right here, this sleeve was broken right there. And so what I had to do was go to my uh, cousin's welding shop, weld it back up, try to grind it as smooth as I could. And, but you could tell where it had broken there before. It, it had been broken and welded before. Well, you can't just order these off eBay or something. I mean, you can, but um, you, know, you can't buy them new. You're gonna be buying another old one. So what happens is our rod is gonna slide in to here. And then this hole is gonna line up with that hole. And then this notch in our rod is gonna line up with that too. So I'm gonna put this in first. Make sure it slides in nicely. I, let's see here. One of my things. I'm about to take two hands. Okay, so I've got my sleeve piece in there going through. And you'll have to probably grab it by hand here and wiggle it until you see those two holes lined up. It just looks black in there because they're both lined up. Okay, now I'm gonna put my, put the rod in. Alrighty. We should be in there. I'm gonna put my little keeper bolt in there. On all of this stuff, it, it's all this stuff should be oily and uh, you know well used. Pretty much everything on barber chairs, the hardware should go in and out fairly easy. So if you're having to put a lot of tension on any of this stuff, odds are you're probably cross threading it. So see, I'm tight right now. So something is not lining up. So I'm going to back it up. <clears throat> and that's it right there. Okay, try it again. I had to rejiggle this a little bit. There we go. Should go in by hand. There we go. So, we have our sleeve in there and our rod. Okay. I had taken it off earlier because I was disassembling the whole thing. So there's a cotter pin right here holding it all together. 
I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. All right, got our cotter pin. Be careful not to drop your cotter pin down into the dark void. So, if you notice here, my handle is still free spinning, which is not supposed to happen. I'll pull this out real quick. This is what I was talking about. That rod sits at the end of that. Whenever you push it, it turns it out, pushing it that way. And then you should have some little roller bearings down in here too. Something like that. Nice and gross. And I can see my rod is not sticking out. So I'm gonna go back and try to readjust this. Get that rod pushed in there a little bit more. See if we can get some movement. Okay. Got my roller on there. We'll slide it in like this. Straight down. Make sure it's straight. And then just gonna push it forward. And what you wanna do is you just wanna hold tension nice and hard over here, and then turn your handle, and it should push, you should feel it push that rod. As long as you feel that rod pushing, you're all set. All right, now that my recline should be working again, I'm gonna go ahead and Get this whole assembly pushed back up have these two little guide bolts sticking up and then get my buddy to lift this big ass chair back on here y'all don't try to lift these by yourselves you'll hurt yourself and uh yeah that's how you fix a recline well my specific problem but i hope this video helped um you know just kind of go over how the reclines work in most of these chairs, this, this era, you know, 50s and 60s. Um, you start getting before that, the uh, Theo A. Cokes and stuff, it gets, I'll just show you real quick, actually. This chair. So, this one, you turn it, same thing, a knuckle is pushing a rod, but this rod, I don't have this cover plate on. This rod has this little spring plate and it's supposed to hold, it's supposed to be held in here just slightly like that. And then whenever you push that plate, it pushes them together a little bit more on that back side. And these things are a pain in the ass. I mean, these things are notorious. I've Went and got this thing milled uh, to grab you know more tension, and it still won't do it for some reason. When I have the plate on, it uh, it won't hold tension, so I just leave the plate off. And luckily, this chair isn't used that much. But whenever I did have to recline it, I had to I couldn't use my turn handle. I had to physically come down here. And uh, with my right hand, you know, hold the backrest. And then with my left hand, pinch these plates together to recline it. I don't know. Let's see if I can show you. Just like that. But I had to do that every time. I couldn't just go down and twist my handle on the right hand side. I had to reach down and pinch those two plates. So, I haven't really taken the time to fix that part yet. Um, I don't use this chair that much every now and then if another chair is down. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, back to this chair. I'm definitely, I don't claim to be an expert, but I know a little bit on how to work on these chairs from the 1920s all the way up to the, you know, current day. Uh, but, you know, specifically the old school hand pump kind. That and, you know, uh, other barber equipment. If you ever have any questions on, you know, how to work on this stuff or maybe where to find some parts, feel free to leave me a comment uh, or shoot me a message and I'll try to get back to you and help you out. All right. 
all finished. As you can see, it reclined, it's holding its position. Put it down. And I went ahead and put some new grease in there, helped it move a little bit better. Well, there you have it. Hopefully, if you had a similar problem, uh, this video helped you out. Uh, just don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. And uh, hope to see you again.